Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna do some painting today and a little bit of planting today, and I'm really excited. It's been such an eventful week last week, and um, now I need to finish off one project, and um, I'm really excited for it. We're gonna be painting the pergola that I just installed, and I cannot wait. We've been sitting and debating and like, okay, do we paint it like cream color? Do we paint it the green color? Do we paint it black? Do, what do we paint this thing? And I think ultimately I've just decided to just paint it black. Um, it's just kind of a good like staple piece. And I think that it's just going to, I don't want it to pop too much, but I also don't want it to completely disappear. And I think that because of um, like the surrounding of it, if I paint it black, it's gonna still look good and it's still gonna just kind of be a big statement piece. That is the plan for today is to get that painted and then we'll let it dry and then we're gonna do a little bit of planting around it. Um, I know it sounds weird because I keep talking about how I want to remove the plants that are in front of it, but I also want to grow something up and over it. And um, we had picked some stuff up last week that I am excited to get planted to climb up over. So we're gonna plant some creeping fig to grow up on it. And I just think that that's gonna be so gorgeous. Once the creeping fig gets um, like mature and just makes that whole thing, I don't know, I just, I love creeping fig. It's one of my favorites. And so we're gonna grow that up the arbor and I think it's just gonna be perfect there. So let's go get that painted because I'm staring at it right now and it's very bright because it's uh, that natural wood color still and it, it needs a coat of paint. If you missed it, I will make sure that that video is linked in the description down below of us building it. I do not have plans for it. We built it on a whim, kind of like on our own. I have dog hair in my armpit. That's classy. <laughs> we built it just kind of on a whim on our own, uh, not exactly knowing what we were doing or how we were going to go about it. And I think it turned out really, really good. So let me turn the camera around, show you guys that, and um, then we're going to paint it. Okay, so this is the gazebo thing, pergola thing, whatever you want to call it, that we just built. It is massive. Um, the fence is at like six feet, six and a half feet. That's at about seven feet. And so I think this thing is like close to like eight and a half, nine feet tall. It is huge. I mean, you can see like there's the peak of the neighbor's shed right there. And I mean, it's about the same size as their shed. So it's really, really massive. Um, camera never does justice to anything. So we're gonna get this thing painted black. Um, it'll match the fence and the like mirrored door that we built. And um, I think it'll just kind of like, I don't know, I think it'll all be really good together. And then the creeping fig, I picked up two of them. So one's gonna go on this side, one's gonna go on this side, and then they'll get trained to grow up this thing. So it just looks like a beautiful green wall of like pure goodness. And eventually all of this is going to get moved. So that way it's more of like a walkway to the gate right there. So that's not gonna happen until this fall time though, because I don't want these plants to go into shock. I don't want them to die. So eventually those will all get moved. So that way you can actually like get up to it. I mean, you won't actually be able to go anywhere because it goes directly to a fence, but that way it feels more like something special. I am going to use this paint sprayer right here. This has been my absolute favorite thing in the entire world. Um, this is the Home Right Finish Max Super Paint Sprayer. We've had this for, gosh, I don't even know how many years now, seven years, I think. And it's been amazing. We did the entire fence. We did the mirror. We did our house. We've done pretty much everything that's painted on our property. With this sprayer we actually just recently also did this bench right here and um so i will also link this from amazon down in the description down below and then we're just gonna go ahead and throw one tarp on the mirror right here so we don't get any paint on the mirror and then we're going to throw another tarp kind of on the plants and we'll work our way here and then we'll go ahead and move the tarps and we'll like hang one up on the back so that way we can spray without spraying over to the neighbor's house also um so that, that way we're just responsible so we've got two tarps out and we also have our paint which is right here and ignore all of this if you've been here for a hot second you know we're redoing the entire yard <laughs> and then this is what we're going to use right here this is the bare house and fence wood stain it's like a mix between paint and stain i don't exactly know how it works but it's definitely not a stain because it comes up off of things like a paint but also a stain i don't know i don't know how it works this is what we've used to do our entire fence we love it it's been great we buy it in the five gallon because we go through so much of this stuff um like i said we did the entire fence with this we've done um a few other small projects with this also i just this is kind of the good stuff that we really like.
my gosh. This looks so good. I am so pleased with this. So gorgeous. I think it's absolutely perfect. And once we get the um, vines growing up the top of it, it's going to be gorgeous. I'm trying to shade the camera because of the sunlight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. This is just absolute perfection. Love it so much. The black, I think, is the right choice. That was definitely what we needed. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's talk about the plants that we're going to plant at the base of this. We're going to plant two plants, one on this side over here and one on this side over here. Eventually, I keep saying this, the hydrangea is going to get moved, the dusty miller will get moved, the chokeberry is going to get moved, the lily is going to get moved. I have a pyreus japonica right here. That's going to get moved. So all of these things will be moved once we cool down, once it's not over 100 degrees anymore. Well, we're, we're below 100, but once we're in the like low 70s, 60 degrees, all of this is gonna get moved. So that way you can actually feel like you can walk directly up to this. And like, I don't know, it just it feels so cozy now. It feels so cool. So this is what I picked up. I picked up a couple creeping figs. I've got two of them, one for each side. Isn't that so gorgeous? Okay, I've got dirt on my hands already. Isn't this so pretty though? I love creeping fig. It attaches to whatever surface you're growing it on. So that's something to be kind of mindful about. I totally think it's gonna be worth it to grow it up along this. I think it'll be super gorgeous. Um, I mean, it's just gonna like cover the entire thing. I don't even wanna like really see it. I want that thing totally covered. Um, they are hardy in zones nine through 11. So this is something for higher zones only. And it does, it does prefer like afternoon shade. So it's about five o'clock right now and the shade is like almost a third of the way through the yard. So this gets shade usually from like noon-ish in the summer months. So this should be totally fine. This will be good. It'll get morning sun only, none of that hot, harsh afternoon sun. They can grow up to about 20 feet tall and they also can just kind of like totally take over. So that is something to be mindful of if you're in warmer zones. Um, we also grow it in a container and we do grow it up along our house and I don't care. I love it. I think it's worth it. Eventually we want to replace the siding on the house. So I'm not worried about it. It does, it does do like Ivy does like, um, the backs of these attach to whatever surface that you have it growing up against. And it does that thing that Ivy does where it like leaves little marks or whatever. So that is something to be mindful about. Um, if you are planning to grow this in your garden somewhere. So this is the one that we do have growing. This is in a container right here. I swallowed my shoe um we have it growing in this container on an orb right here there's like a metal ball in there it's a terracotta pot and then we've kind of just let it start to grow up the house and personally i love it i just i don't know this vibe is everything to me i just think it's the most gorgeous thing ever so we let it grow up the house i'm not worried about it if this came in and this filled this entire wall right here and this whole thing right here was green um from creeping fig i would be extremely happy and i would totally just jive with that that's whatever to me i just love this um you can see it's kind of it's hollow in here because there's nothing growing in there because it's got this metal structure that's right here that i kind of just wove them through and this is one plant this plant was totally like um mistreated for about half of its life there was low soil there was no fertilizer in there there was no nutrients in there and once i went ahead and re-fertilized it and potted it up it did all of this just pretty much this year. It's done all of that. So very fast growing, very gorgeous. I love it. And you can see too, it started to come around the corner. So it's the plant is over there and it's kind of gone around the corner through the gutter. And I'm just gonna continue to let it go. If this wall turns green from that, I just, I don't care. I won't be mad at it. I love creeping fig. I think it's, I think it's totally worth it. Like I said, it just, it attaches to the wall, so it's not gonna come off. It's got little suckers that you can actually see. Look at, that's what it does to your walls. So you do need to be mindful if you don't want those on your wall. Just so you know, be prepared. I don't care, I think it's worth it. One thing about creeping fig too though, is they can be pruned very easily. So if you're wanting to just grow it in just a very small section, you can, you can just prune on it. They take to the, like being cut back very, very well. Um, so just keep it in check. If you've got somewhere short that you want it to grow, I saw somebody who is growing it along their steps and I thought that that was so gorgeous. And so it's just on the front 
like the facing of your step and uh, not the, the part where you actually step and they just keep it pruned and I'm sure they have to do it multiple times throughout the year but I thought that that was such a cool look I want this stuff absolutely everywhere in my garden I really do love it I would love to grow it up against the aviary also so let's go ahead and get these planted we're just gonna do it just at the base of these four by six right here exactly the same <laughs> give it a little time and these will grow up they're very small plants I you don't want to buy creeping fig too mature because it needs to be able to attach so buying small plants so they can attach down low and work themselves up is the best idea and I just used a little bit of the clear plastic like a uh, garden tape to attach it to the arbor or pergola arbor trellis whatever you want to call it I don't care um, until it attaches itself and then I'll come through and I will remove those so pretty soon those should attach and those should start growing up relatively quickly because we are still warm so they should still be in their growing season I did go in with just a little tiny bit of the Spoma Biotone starter fertilizer that is the only fertilizer that I have on the property right now and now I'm officially out so zero fertilizer left on the property but those got a little tiny bit of fertilizer and they should take off I'm hoping that like it'd be really nice if by spring they were here and by next summer they made it to there that would be ideal the exact dream and you know get them to cover this thing entirely that would be so cool so i think it looks pretty good I'm very happy with it um even though you can't, <laughs> can't see those guys quite yet you will be able to see them once i guess i get everything removed but i am very happy with the look of the pergola right here arbor gazebo trellis whatever she is so it looks good the whole thing is done now it feels nice to get one more project checked off of our list and i did pick those two creeping figs up from high hand they were the only thing that i picked up there and they were about 15 bucks a piece so i was honestly shocked that that was the only thing that i ended up buying but i think that they're going to be the perfect big impact addition that the garden needs especially over this arbor trellis gazebo whoever she is I don't care <laughs> anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed the video I'm super happy with it thank you for visiting our garden and I will see you all in the next one bye guys